Meantime, health officials are also having to reiterate, do not take cattle dewormer to try and fight COVID. Misinformation surrounding ivermectin has spread to the point that even the drug's own maker has had to issue a new statement. Here's Kristen Severance with tonight's Verify. We continue to get emails from viewers about ivermectin, like this one from Joanne. So she wrote us saying there is good evidence that ivermectin really is effective for COVID-19, even though the FDA and CDC are bent on selling the vaccine as the only answer. Now we've done a lot of research on this and this is just not true. That's according to the Federal Drug Administration Centers for Disease Control, the World Health Organization, Oregon Health and Science University, and the manufacturer of ivermectin, Merck. They all say that ivermectin should not be taken to treat COVID. Ivermectin is a drug meant to prevent parasites in animals like horses. Ivermectin tablets are approved at very specific doses for people for treating parasitic worms or in a topical form for head lice. The FDA said taking large doses of this drug is dangerous and can cause serious harm. The Oregon Poison Center at OHSU has received nine calls this month about people intentionally misusing ivermectin. Compare that to only three cases of people misusing the drug in all of 2020. Now, several viewers have sent us links to studies like this one, studies and clinical trials as proof that ivermectin works. But again, that's just not true, and here's why. Merck, the manufacturer of ivermectin, said there is no scientific basis for a potential therapeutic effect against COVID-19 from preclinical studies. Merck also said there is, quote, a concerning lack of safety data in the majority of studies. Again, this is coming from Merck, the company that makes the drug. Then there is more information from the National Institute of Health, or NIH. NIH said the studies of trials of ivermectin when it comes to COVID were lacking in terms of information, scope, and methodology. NIH said there is insufficient evidence to make a recommendation on the drug. They also said that lab research shows that ivermectin may kill viruses in a test tube, but no clinical trials have reported a benefit for human patients with those viruses. I talked to Dr. Marcel Curlin about this. He's an associate professor of medicine in the Division of Infectious Diseases at OHSU. He's also the medical director for occupational health. He said just because something works in a lab does not mean it will work in the real world. If you have cells on a Petri dish and you put a lot of ivermectin on there, it kind of inhibits the virus. And that made people think, well, let's, um, let's use it for COVID. The problem with ivermectin is those studies, those laboratory studies use doses that are orders of magnitude higher than what you and I would get for a parasitic disease. So the problem is you run into toxicity. I believe that that is going to be an obstacle, that the doses just required is just too high would be toxic or fatal for people. And so it may not be clinically useful, even if it works in, in the lab. So again, based on guidance from the FDA, CDC, WHO, OHSU, and Merck, ivermectin is just not an effective treatment for COVID-19. Do you have something you want us to verify? Let us know. All you have to do is send us an email using verify at kgw.com.